Good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Cal Miner here. So, guess what happened, guys? The L3 Plus, it took a dump. I guess one of the uh, hashboards in there is bad. So, luckily, I got a new hashboard. Let me throw her in. Let me see if I can get her to start hashing away again, okay? You like my uh, custom ductwork there? Anyways, though, let's roll that intro. Let's get into it. Let's replace that hashing board. Let's see what happens. What is there she is out of uh, not connected no more obviously so I got one two three four hash boards one of them is not working properly now to be frank with you guys I'm not exactly sure which one is the number four <laughs> I looked at the board and there's no numbers on there so to speak that will kind of tell me so looking at this this way I have a 50 50 percent chance I'm gonna guess it right it's either this one or this one I'm gonna look a little more into it wish me luck Here's the new used hash board. Hopefully this sucker works. Obviously they're all used nowadays, but we'll see how that goes, okay? Let me throw her on. I'll show her the guts. I'll show you guys the guts of the inside. It's pretty straightforward. Take those four screws out, pop it out, and these literally just slide right out. Pretty straightforward on these. Okay, way right back again. For all you guys that haven't seen an ASIC taken apart, they're very, very simple machines as far as construction. They have the aluminum casing around it, and they have those hash boards that go all the way through the air that fan sucks the air through in and that one blows the air out there's the old hash board and literally these all bleh, all you got to do is just pull these out there's no clips in there nothing and actually i did figure it out too on the board itself uh, i don't know if you guys can see that here oops he says it's H1, then there's H2, 3, 4. So I'm assuming that's 1, 2, 3, 4, the number of the board. So, number 4. Yeah, no guessing. Anyways, though, I just got to put that fan back on. Let me turn her on. Now, one problem I do see, though, the version number on the board is a little bit different than the one I put in. So, shit. I have a feeling it might not work. But, anyways, though, let me throw it on, see what happens, and we go from there. Okay, here she is, all plugged back in. So this is the first time me turning it on since the new with the new board. Okay, uh, yes, I am running it on 120. No, you shouldn't run them on 120. They run more efficiently on 240 volts. But anyways, this is what I have. Whatever, I got thicker gauge wires, so we chilling, we Gucci, you know. Anyways, though, let's plug her in. Let's uh, hopefully those sparkies. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. She booted up. No sparks. See, it's always a good sign if there's no sparks. Okay, so as you can see there, Ant Miner L3 Plus, that's the name on it. Uh, they're all hashing away so far. 560 mega hashes on Litecoin. And this one is getting a little warm. Hmm. That's kind of weird. <laughs> that's funny. That's the new hash board, 55 degrees Celsius. And these are at 80. Hmm, Jesus. But, anyways, though, no X's. So, we'll let it hash. The main problem was uh, it would hash for a couple hours, and then number four hash would just die out. It's funny because it starts at zero, and then it calls that one three, but it's one, two, three, four. Anyways, so well, that's the one I replaced there. All zeros all the way around. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Well, let's wrap up this video. Well, there you have it, folks. At Minor L3 hash board replacement. Pretty straightforward. And, yeah, you like my funnel there? Custom. Anyways, though, guys, stay safe out there. And as always, thank you for watching. And most importantly, though, guys, keep on mining.